Hello, from the AP World Studio, I'm Erica. In recent news, reporting the Nigerian oil and the gas shortages has been making headlines. This shortages has been causing shutdown of transportation, economic decline, and government shutdown. In these recent events, the shortage has revealed the government instability. With the shutdown and embargo of oil production and lack of available fuel, this revealed how dependent this country and its fuel sources and production. With the embargo, transportation in and out of the country has been halted, electricity has become limited in places, and resources such as medical care and emergency treatment have become unavailable. This shortage and embargo have also shown the country's massive debts to its raw material providers. With the power change in Nigeria approaching the embargo and debt have highlighted the country's needed to have a firm leadership and an economic plan. In previous times, the oil shortage of 1973 has included the same components of the shortage today. In the shortage of in 1973, the oil embargo was mostly intact because of the America's involvement in the Yom Kippur War. This present shortage is due to massive debt in, of Nigeria. Through both shortages come from different routes, both embargoes greatly impact and shut down the affected economies and government shutdowns in Nigeria include change in power. In the 1973 shortage, it caused a disagreement of economic policy in the tail. These two shortages also cause widespread electricity blackout. Since the present situation is caused by future power change and massive debt, the only way to resolve the situation would be similar to the 1973 situation and how the, pa the future power needs to take responsibility and economic debts need to be settled. Through the two shortages have different roots in either in politics or economics. Both produce the same results and decline in the affected countries. From AP World, World Studio, America. Thanks for watching.